Hello, Facebook, YouTube, the day of uh, Barachel, the archangel, uh, the blessed by God angel. No, not uh, Saturn, he's a false god. That's Ruby. No. And then there's Linda. False no. gods on God's days. She's tall, thin. She's in the uh, Sh Shayla. 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 Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, yes, I remember Shayla. you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Interesting. Well, uh, topic of the, uh, well, today is, well, we're approaching, well, it's Martha Luther King weekend, and I have a message uh, for that. But um, I want to talk about this blood moon. This blood moon is awesome. Um, this here could be actually the day of the, the, uh, you, uh, I'm on, yeah, I'm on video. <laughs> Uh, I'm on video. What's up? Yes? Uh, what is it? I guess I'll take the video with me. Okay. I'm going to try to get this going. What's up? No problem. What is it? Do we have a bigger guy? It's a Mexican. It's a little Mexican guy. I was going to sit him outside on my step. I don't... Oh, a huge one. Yeah, bigger one? I don't think know. So. I don't think I, so. He looks, he looks silly on my yes, step. Yes, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm afraid the dog would eat us. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we get... I think... I thought we had something yeah, like that, but I don't know. Sure. Sure. But I don't think we do. I don't think let we me, do. Let me go look at the list. I don't think we do. Yes, I don't think we do. Uh, working at the paint party studio and doing videos late. Probably a siesta man. Maybe siesta man. All right. Sorry, y'all. Um, uh, I, I want to talk about uh, the reality of... Um, uh, oh, yeah, about the uh, acceptable year of the Lord, the day of our vengeance. Now... Here's what's interesting. Um, the 15th of Shiva uh, is going to be Monday. And Monday right now, watch this, this blood moon is going to be at 12 o'clock. It's going to be at 12 o'clock. And the full moon is going to be at 12 o'clock too, near 12 o'clock. And it's going to stand for a good long time. Uh, yeah. And, and what precedes that is uh the year uh the 15th of shabbat shabbat and that is talking about the new years of trees i did a message long time ago well probably last year on the blood on the super blood blue moon that happened in january 31st last year about that this uh um uh blood moon is it is it, is is the yeah, acceptable year of the Lord. I believe, truly believe that this is, this blood moon is the acceptable year of the Lord going to begin because of the timing of it. And I like, I talk about it, that it's going to begin right at the beginning of Aquarius. And God had his uh, um, prophecy. Jesus prophesied about a man, you know, uh, uh, you know, pitching a beer, a pitcher of water, you know what I'm saying? Follow him. And, you know, and also that it, this holiday is talking about a man is a tree and is in Deuteronomy 20. And interesting that this uh, date that's, that the, the blood moon is going to follow is 20, you know, uh, Deuteronomy 20. And 20 is going to begin 20 to the 21st. That's what's pretty cool. And there's so many, it's so much stuff that I cannot get on my video, but I will do a video tomorrow of all the stuff that I research is ridiculously showing that even it's a, even the ideal, I know people ain't going to like it, but Donald Trump being swore into office on January 20th is a sign to uh that post to follow this sign you know so his sign is a sign and a person researched it 
It's crazy. It's really nuts <laughs> concerning the timing of the ideal of Donald Trump. You know, being sworn into office is a sign. God using him for a sign. Now, I'm not trying to say he's a man of God, but he is used as a sign because on February, on uh, June 14th that he was born, there, it, a blood moon happened. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, y'all. It's really crazy of the research of the timing of things that God has put things strategically at a position that we cannot ignore that he's going to do and make a fulfillment. It's crazy, but I can't explain that right now, but I will do it on the next video tomorrow <coughs> when the fulfillment happens in the morning, you know. But the top of this message I want to talk about Martin Luther King Day is that, you know, uh, the reality that love will fulfill the dream. Love, well, more likely the love of God will fulfill the dream. You know, as we know, Martin Luther King had a dream speech. You know what I'm saying? I, I had a dream, you know, that uh, more likely that black kids and white kids can be playing together and stuff like that and getting along with each other, you know. Um, but, you know, the thing is, but love and Dr. Martin Luther King, so many uh, writings um, that I went to the Dr. Martin Luther King Museum in Atlanta, Georgia, and I saw a lot of draw, uh, writings of him that how much he uh, made, how much he, you know, talked about how the love of God is supposed to distinguish this hatred. And like I did so many videos talking about, you know, that there's a difference between racism. Well, the ideal word racism is a wrong idea of calling hatred. You know what I'm saying? But there's supposed to, but there's really, racism is not a bad word. You know, it's not supposed to be one. Because here's the thing about what people don't understand is right, the idea of racism is questioning another race concerning how they do things, how they do things within their own race, how their culture is, how this is. Now, racial hatred, see, racial hatred is what people don't like. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing that you're a race and you do things different from another race, is another thing that you hate what another race do concerning, you know, what they do is what people need to distinguish that because, you know, I was talking to a person at a bar named Jan, I remember Jan, and I was talking about, she was talking to me about, you know, Colin Kaepernick and how he did his protest, you know, against the uh, Miss. And, and I was trying to explain to her about the ideal of it, you know what I'm saying, of what Colin Kaepernick was doing concerning, the, you know, the police uh, brute beating, beating and killing black people, you know what I'm saying? And, and how they're trying, and the other side is saying that, oh, the uh, people that fought wars for the flag and da 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 And... Um, I was trying to help let her know that uh, that well she did not understand to what extent of, of the situation that you know that's what and that's what deception is all about it's like one side y'all only hear see Colin Kaepernick you know what I'm saying taking the knee because of the violence and the mistreatment done by officers concerning black people. And the other one saying that, oh, you know, uh, but people fought wars and, you know, uh, for the flag and everything else. And then you get these, they try to, uh, social media, try to get these people isolated to not really understand this side and get this other side isolated and not understand this side. So it can create friction. It can create animosity. It can create negative uh, vibe in it. 
And it's sad that I meet a lot of people, interestingly, at the laundromat and other places about to bring that up uh, and then to me. And I'm like, and I and I, I try to let them understand what it's all about. And they're like, oh, I didn't really see it like that. Because that's what social media does. They isolate certain things and make it and make sure you emphasize one side and not really understand the other side, you know, and it's just re and, you know, that's what this, you know, really this uh, government system is all about socially dividing people, keeping people against each other and making laws to take power, to take advantage of people based upon political, in either the political way or the corporate, you know, these corporations and all kind of other ways they try to make sure to keep people in pretty much slavery. Everybody in slavery, you know what I'm saying? And that's the trick. But if you keep people coming against each other and stuff like that, you're not going to see the deception that is controlled by Satan that is causing this, you know what I'm saying? That that's what, but the love of God is supposed to uh, fulfill the dream. You know what I'm saying? Really, you know, I saw a lot of quotes from Martin Luther King that he is, he's showing how hatred, you know, I believe in hating hatred and not hating people. And the only way you can hate hate is the love of God, the love of God, because the love of God understands that, you know, of course, Matthews 4, 5, 4, 4, love your enemies, bless those that curse you, pray for them, despite for you, that we're shining light to a darkness concerning that a person is not aware of, of not known of, of how things need to go about. You know what I'm saying? That I run into, you know, people that has, you know, that viewpoint about this situation, that situation, and keep people against each other that we, we're not even trying to be about bringing a resolution, a solution to deal with situations. And there's so much problems in situations, circumstances in so many people's life, financially, uh, physically, mentally, in so many aspects unto the people that, you know, it's going to take the love of God to override all of this madness that is continually happening. But the thing is, you know, Martin Luther King, you know, dream speech is supposed to, uh, <clears throat> is supposed to be the solution. But this world system that I was, you know, looking at my old uh, post, you know, what I'm saying this world system, you know, they, they, the television, you know, the social media, the CNN or Fox News or whatever, you know, stations, they want to, you know, talk about Martin Luther King. But these are the same, the same stations are about the night, want to keep a nightmare and keep a nightmare that we're arguing and disputing about situations and circumstances that are going on in this world. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and to keep the, a nightmare going, but you know what I'm saying? They're not truly sincere about the dream. They just using Martin Luther King, uh, holiday and they try to, you know, say, you know, we cared about how Martin Luther King is and da, da, da. But there are people, but they're the main people keeping people having animosity and negativity against not just blacks and whites, but, you know, whites and whites and blacks and whites and Mexican and Mexican and just having hatred towards other people, period. You know what I'm saying? These people are have shows that was going to keep people having a reason to have bitterness and hatred towards people and stuff like that. But yet they're going to be like, oh, Martin Luther King, you know, he does a great thing. And da, 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 da. But these people are influenced the reason to keep bitterness against one another. You know what I'm saying? That people don't, you know, really address. And the, and the sad that some people need to call these shows or television or networks out concerning they sit up here talking about Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King, but you arguing about all kind of topics that are going on in this world that's going to really have a hard time for everybody to really find a way to 
get along and work together to make things better, to establish a harmony between each other. But only the love of God can do, can fulfill the dream. You know what I'm saying? There's no way our ridiculous ideal of love that's based upon the lust of the flesh is not capable of trying to love in spite of all of what they are influencing, all this negativity in people to be negative against each other, one another, hate one another, cannot, you know, stop this uh, bitterness and hatred and wickedness and violence against each other. But the love of God can only um, bring forth a dream. But the thing is, we need to be about calling things out and, you know, and telling them to stop front and pretty much on Martin Luther King's day and like, oh, well, we think Martin Luther King is going. But if you think so, why are you not about the agenda of bringing unity, showing, doing shows and doing things to bring unity among people and try to resolve situations politically and, well, politically, I guess they call it, uh, in certain ways, but they're not really about Martin Luther King. They're just using his day as some uh, to get y'all ratings, you know what I'm saying, is what really these shows are all about. They're not truly sincere about bringing their dream to make you happy. That's what I'm saying. But, all right, that's the message. Hope you understand the love of God can only cultivate the dream that Martin Luther King uh, set, uh, set a speech for and died for trying to accomplish it die for trying to accomplish it, that I will stand up for Martin Luther King and what he's uh, tried to, you know, cultivate in this time, try dying, trying to motivate people to be about love, the love of God can only do what needs to be done to get things done. All right, that's the message. I will go ahead and pray that message. Thank you.